Good day, wonderful skiers. In this video, we're gonna learn some fun stuff together with camp coach Vincent here. What do you have in store for us today? Uh, today, we're gonna have a look at wall rides and three main ways on how to ride a wall ride. What we can do is stall on top, slide across the top, or ride the wall, like, along the side. Yeah, let's start with the easiest one. Let's go. Hi guys. The great first wall ride you tried on is probably not the wall ride, but a feature like this one, where you can ride straight up it, have a little stall, and then pop back down. The easiest types of walls, the snow is equally steep as the wall. See what happens here, where the wall is much steeper. That leads me to have to like lean back, kind of like an ollie, to quickly get the ski flat onto the wall. This way, like that way, and also that way, you don't want to have it on edge. And then also when I pop off the top, I often try to pop like a long way down when it looks like this, because sometimes if you land here, that happens. The ski just goes flop towards the side, and that's a little bit sketchy. That can also happen on the way up. If you don't hit it perfectly straight onto it, then have a little bit of like an ollie into it. All right, so for the first time, you might not want to go full speed into it. Just get a feel for the transition before you go faster. Now one of the key things from doing wall rides is that you have enough speed. Oh, that was not enough speed. Then slowly increase your speed so you get closer to that coping. Hey, if you want to have an awesome freestyle experience, join one of our freestyle camps for adults where we practice here in an awesome park, trampolines, and you'll have a good time and learn a lot. Maybe see that? Not going up the walls. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Two, oh man. I think this is the most scary thing we're doing all day. I really tried not to fall on you. I think I've done it. When you've gotten comfortable with the transition and built up the courage to get all the way to the top, what then? What I like to do is land quite on my heels so you keep that pressure back, you don't go all the way to the top. Then when you lightly lean back and push off from the heels, you go nicely straight back down. Woo! All right, so whether you wanna do a 180 off or just pop the switch, you gotta do that same little pop from the heels. With the 180 off, you really don't wanna set your rotation too early because you'll probably slide out to the side. Wait until you kind of stall on top and start rotating and pop off. Something like this, hopefully. So it's quite a high wall, so you gotta go kind of fast on this one. Go straight. Oh no, too much speed. But the trick is alive. Nice. So, so far we've only been taking off straight onto the wall. Now we're gonna start talking about doing it diagonal. And as you can imagine, if you steep like this, the wall is gonna push the ski down immediately. So I pop quite early, kind of pull up the legs and like going from this edge to roll the knees down. So I flatten the ski like this against the wall so that the wall doesn't do weird stuff to my skis, like twisting them immediately. So let's do the classic way of a wall ride. Skiing here and there, and you can jump into it. Flat bases. I kind of like it, it's so aggressive. Flack into it. And a little pop up. Oh, okay. All right, now I'll try to slide back and uh, slide on top. It's important when coming in diagonal to a wall that we match the skis to the wall. So that we flat base up the wall, just like that. Since the noses can flop away, I suggest that you at first do it straight on, basically like a stall. And then once that feels good, you do it a little bit diagonal like this, so that you grind the coping gently. Hi guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you want to learn some more, check out our ski technique, freestyle and freer camps over there. All the videos up there. See you in the next one. Ciao. Ciao.